Hello, hi there, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Chic Plastic, and in case you couldn't tell, I'm a little bit of a doll collector, just a smidge. Um, and I recently found something super cool <laughs> and slightly expensive that I want to unbox. If you're wondering what that noise was, that was the avalanche of my to-be-open pile. When I grab this! This! <laughs> um, this, I found... I fell. Slightly. So this, I found at the Disney Store Outlets. And if you're not familiar with what this is, uh, this was a 30th anniversary Beauty and the Beast set. Slightly pricey slightly less pricey at the outlets, but this was a set I never thought I was gonna get for less than retail value. And I did, <laughs> which was a wild time, wild time. And I was posting a couple times on TikTok with it, trying to get people's opinions on if I should open it, if I shouldn't. Ultimately, I obviously I'm making this video. I decided I'm going to open it. But anywho, um, let, let's see it, shall we? First of all, we must take a look at the box art. It is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. The back of the box talks about how it's the 30th anniversary and they proudly present it. It has a concept art sketch of the early renditions of Beauty and the Beach, which is actually what this doll set is based off of, the early art concept. I actually really love that it's based off of something else that is not in the movie because it just gives us an entirely different view of Belle and Beast and their designs. And I don't know about you, but I get tired of seeing Belle in the yellow dress on every doll. In fact, my favorite dresses of her are the ones where she's in the snow and the green library dress. So this is very refreshing and I love this set. And in total, only 1,800 dolls were made of this set and I'm very, very thankful to have one. Let us take a closer look at Beast. There's so much going on, so much layering. The more you look at him, the more details you kind of find. He's pretty articulated. His neck doesn't articulate well because it's a very strange setup, but he does have arm and wrist articulation as well as knee articulation. This has like a quilted pattern on it. He's got embroidery at the bottom of his cape. That's made of a purple velvet material. Now, when I say this doll has layers, he has layers upon layers upon layers. There's an undershirt, there's a vest, there's that little, like, what's that fluffy thing in front of his neck? Is it a cravat? I can't tell. But there's so much detail. He's got these little wrist cuffs that actually have a stone and metal placement there with detailed embroidery. They sit on top of a white undershirt with kind of like floofy sleeves at the center. His vest is made out of a very silky material with three metal chains on the waist and then one over top the cravat. I'm just going to call it that because I don't know what else to call it. Even his little velvet cape has embroidery along the side and he does have a plush tail. Was not expecting that. Thought it would be plastic. He does not come with any shoes because he is the beast. He never wears shoes until he turns into a human. And all of these pieces are indeed separate pieces. They can be disassembled except for the cravat, I think, but I am not going to because I don't trust myself. Now, let's take a look at Belle. She's the star of the show. Belle is looking lovely in a beautiful blue dress. Let's take a close look at her. She's got pearl drop earrings on either side. Her hair is assembled in a very lovely top knot that's pretty perfect. And she has a pearl hair jewel in her hair that is set in a gold flower. She's got beautiful ringlets and a pearl necklace that is sewn on so it cannot be removed at all. Well, it could, but you'd have some assembly required. Now, Beast is not the only one who got layers upon layers. She too has layers. She has puffed blue sleeves with a cream alternating layers with lace. She also has lace on her cuffs that attach to a cream sleeve. Her bodice has three strips of a pinkish bow that is set with stones. On her skirt, she's got a pearl chain, which is actually beaded. She's got this very cool patterned skirt that's got roses all throughout it that's kind of hard to see with blue overskirts and this little cream trim at the bottom. She's got a long, gorgeous train with embroidery and stonework throughout, and this is where I believe it's silk because of the, just the texture of the fabric. However, I am not well-versed in fabrics, so if you know better than I do, please educate me on the matter. The bodice and the skirts are also separate pieces, so you can mix and match them if you want. Again, I don't trust myself, so they are staying on her forever and ever. But this doll is just breathtakingly beautiful, and I'm obsessed with her. Did I mention the fact that I love that she is not in her yellow dress? I feel like I've mentioned that before, but I love the fact that she is no longer in her yellow dress for this doll. Makes me so happy. <sighs> I'm indeed a happy sponge today. 
this is a doll set that I feel like I could stare at and I would just find new new details each time I looked at her. For information about this doll is that she retails for about $500 for the set. Um, however, they are starting to pop up at outlets, which is where I actually found my set. So it was about 25% off, I believe. So do with that information what you will, see if you can find them. I love them. I am so ecstatic to have them. To be honest, with the retail value, I didn't think I was ever going to pick them up, and I am so happy I got the opportunity to because they are just absolutely breathtaking and I am very happy. I am looking forward to hear your thoughts and opinions on this doll set. Would you have picked them up at the retail value or would you have known I did and just hope for the best? And follow me on my other socials. I am on TikTok and Instagram. I will pop those on the screen somewhere. Anyways, have a lovely day. Bye!